Hey everyone, Adam here and I am back with a brand new artist for the channel and this time I'm reacting to an artist called Jewel and it's her song Foolish Games. Now, I do not know if I know anything by Jewel, it doesn't come to mind straight away. It might be another artist a little bit like Sigrid where I may have heard a song but not known that it's her. But yeah, like I'm really unfamiliar with any of her work at all to be honest. And then this is a song that keeps being suggested to me all the time. And in particular, it's this performance. So I see she has an acoustic guitar. Oh, is it going to be just her? Does she have a band behind her? I don't even know what her voice sounds like. So here we go. This is Jewel and the song Foolish Games. Brand new music for the channel. I'm always here for it. I always love that. Let's do it. There were some other people that were brought in during that time. One was Charlotte oh, Caffey okay. from the Go-Go's. And she was asked to help me shape up a song of mine called Foolish Games. I think it was nine minutes long or something. It had a lot more verses and no bridge. Um, and I remember her meeting with me in San Diego and before I made the record. And she's like, this could be a good pop song. And I was like, fuck you. <laughs> Love that. How would you say such a horrible thing to me? <laughs> like, I was so insulted. <laughs> and she was like, no, pop, pop music's good. And I was like... It's bad. I liked, I liked folk songs and things that weren't popular, I guess. But she changed my mind, and she's the one who came up with the piano riff for uh, Foolish Games. Wow, okay. But it was originally written on guitar. I wrote it because I was uh, in love with a Leonard Cohen song called The Famous Blue Raincoat. And I oh. heard it when I was in eighth grade and just yes. fell in love with that story. And I wanted to write something that hopefully evoked something that was poetic and... Okay, I hope this delivers because I already kind of love her. And as we know, I listened to the Aurora cover of that song as well, which is amazing. So, God, I hope this is good. Nostalgic and bittersweet. So when I was 18, I did my best to rip off Leonard and this is what I came up with. The anticipation's killing me. It took your coat off And you stood in the rain You're always crazy like that Wow. Beautiful tone and register. And what's from us? Always felt like I was outside looking in on you. You were always the mysterious one with dark eyes and careless hair. You were fashionably sensitive but too cool to care. Wow. Smoking your cigarettes and talking over coffee. Your philosophies are nuts, broke, moved, do, and you 
loved Mozart And you'd speak of your loved ones As I clumsily strum my guitar Excuse me Cause I'm mistaking you for somebody else Somebody who gave a damn Somebody more like myself Yes Let's stop that right there. Oh, oh, wow. Holy shit. Wow. Jewel, what a vocal. What a voice to be reckoned with. Wow. Oh my God, who broke your heart? <laughs> wow. That has really, really impressed me. What a vocal. What, what a showcase of everything that she can do with that vocal. I mean, I'm guessing, I don't know if there's more, but we got so much in that performance alone. You know, we had beautiful delicacy. We had gorgeous power. We had a lovely lower range. We had a gorgeous higher range as well. We had a beautifully controlled vocal all the way through that. You know, it's really hard to sing that when it's almost a whisper. You know, and she has kind of been like, at the beginning there, it was like very whispery with the vocal. And then we got that gorgeous powerhouse. It's just... Wow, this is really a masterclass in showing your range, but also storytelling. This song is storytelling from the very first word to the very last word. You know, it is, it's almost like it is that heartbreak, you know, and she's talking all about that person and all the things that she loved in that person and how that person hurt her. And I think that's really, really interesting. It's just, yeah, it's a, just a beautifully well-told story. Wow, Jewel, wow, wow, wow. I really liked at the beginning as well. I'm pleased to actually let the whole video play where we heard her talk about the song. I always find that so interesting with artists when they kind of, you know, talk about the writing of the song and like the construction of the song, why they did it. And obviously, you know, basing the song off a Leonard Cohen song, I mean, you're already onto a winner, right? Because that's absolute classic material that she's referencing and using that as a point of reference there. And it fits very much in that genre, in that vibe, and sounds very much like something he would have written. So yes, I totally can hear that. But I love that when she was just saying there about pop music and how she was convinced to almost just release it as a pop anthem. And then she was like, whoa, hold on a minute, no. You can hear the country in her voice. Obviously, the way she plays acoustic guitar, it's very country vibes as well. And it kind of does that nice blend of a few genres in there as well, which is really, really lovely. But again, it is that singer-songwriter vibe. It's that storyteller in her. And for me, that's always a genre that sits just so comfortably with me. I just love that so much. Really, really rich. And I love that. She seems like the person and the artist who, if she doesn't want to do something, she ain't going to do it. She's going to be like, no, like, I'm not feeling that. Let Oh, let's work around that. Let's try and work something where there's a happy medium for us both, which sounds like she kind of did that with this song and the other songwriter as well. But wow, if that process produced this, amazing, like incredible. Obviously, I'm guessing this is an acoustic version. I don't know if there's another version out there. If there is a popular version, I'll have to check it out. But for me, this is, I don't know any other versions, obviously, but this is the definitive version. This is just her with a guitar pouring her heart out. And I think that for me is music, that's artistry, that's passion. And there's 
fire in her voice. You could really feel the fire and like when she was pushing that vocal air, like you believe what she's telling you. You know, the authenticity of her as an artist is incredible. And that is something that I look for in all artists, you know, in especially storytelling artists, where's the authenticity in this story? And you got that from start to finish. Just beautiful. Loved, loved, loved this. And Jewel's voice is so extraordinary. Wow. But what did you think of Jewel and the song Foolish Games? You know what to do by now. Please leave me comments down below with your thoughts. And if you have any other suggestions by the incredible artist that is Jewel, please leave those down below as well. As you know, I read every single comment. I reply to as many as I possibly can. And I always appreciate when you guys take the time to comment. So thank you so much. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please come and subscribe to the channel if you don't already and make sure you hit that bell icon as well. It's the fastest way to get new notifications when a brand new video like this drops. All of my social media just appear in the corner. This is my Twitter and my Instagram. Please come and give me a follow on those channels as well. If you want to jump into the Discord, two links are just down below, two different Discords. Pick one that you like and jump right in there. So I want to say a big thank you again to the people that kept making me aware of this and the artist Jewel as well. Why have I not listened to her yet? It feels like I'm kind of repeating myself with Sigrid. But yes, here we are. Incredible artist. Thank you so much. I look forward to hearing more from her very soon. Until next time, take care.